if you want to make the best interior finisher build you clicked on the right video because i'm about to show you that in this video what is good youtube it's your boy exorbing and today guys i am going to show you guys my interior finisher aka my demigod build the one i i actually love this build the build i use most of the time when i'm streaming i probably use it i'm probably going to be using this build maybe using it like my shooting glass lock i don't know mostly i use this build so i love this build so much it's like this is my favorite build but i'm gonna show you guys my interior finisher build I showed you guys the badges. I showed you. I took them to the stage, past videos, and now I'm gonna show you guys how to make this build. Um, this build is overpowered in my opinion. Like, if you copy everything I do, like in this video, show you guys the build and everything. Your video, this is gonna be the most overpowered build in the game. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so guys, so first name, you can do whatever you want. I always say, well, my guys, I've been had it. Exorbing, that's my first her first game in the game. No last name, I have it as Junior. You can do whatever you want with that name. You can put it Billy Bob Junior. Like You could do whatever the fuck you want. It's up to you. Position, power forward. Um, they'll make him center to make him a power forward. Um, you'll see why in a few. And I'll tell you why in a few. Hand, right, or if I have it on right, you can do whatever you want. But I, I think just keep it on right. Um, I don't know if hand really does anything. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But yeah, it does something if I don't know if it does anything. So keep it on right just because that's what I have it on. And I know my builds are power with it. So for the pie chart, you're going to be using this pie chart right here. Um, mostly, obviously, you know, since it's a fi finisher, you're going to have finishing like high the most pie chart and then you're gonna have like the shooting defense and playmaking all equal equal so this is the pie chart i use for this so and i'll see if you want to make this build and then for the this pie chart i picked this one it's mostly um like vertical a little bit of strength and then like the speedish speed acceleration thing is like the other half like so you have 67 speed 62 acceleration 95 strength 79 vertical and i'm gonna show you um at, at the end of this um what's it called what did, he looks like at 99 because i have he my guys at 99 but this is the, pie, the physical pie profile um pie chart i use i highly recommend use this one um it's the best around all around in my opinion and then for these set the potential you know close shot boom max that out to 95 Driving layup, boom, max that out to 87. Driving dunk, boom, 91. You know what, st standing dunk, boom, you know what to do, max that out. Post hook, mm -hmm. I don't want to max that out, so I really don't do it that much. It's up to you if you want to do what you want to do, but I highly recommend just keep it at 89. So you can still hit those post hooks. So, you know, you get them 30 shooting badges, because, you know, you can, you can have that at 94, but you're still going to only have 30 finishing badges. So I just say, fuck it, put it at 89, you're still going to do you um you're still gonna do good make your shit stuff shooting don't even touch don't even touch your shooting pass accuracy max that at 74 because you know you don't want to be throwing up sloppy passes and you know put this to 54 i mean you can get more playmaker badges if you want but no, i recommend you don't just keep them at 54 and then so you still get only one playmaker badge which is fine you can change your badges around, like make him defense get a little bit less defense or a little bit less finishing, whatever, and get that extra couple playmaking badges so you can get more playmaking, like quick draw, for, quick first draw um, step or whatever. But like, I like having one, doesn't matter. I like the way my guy plays and play like everything. One playmaking badge is fine for me, but you know, for this defense, you know, got my set at 74, you know, put this at 66. But this has 60. I think you just max all these out, if I'm correct. 65. Okay, this is the only one you don't. I mean, you could change this around, put... Yeah, I'll, see, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. In a second, you know, put this at 75. And put this at 76. So you have 10 defensive badges. So you can go like this and then max, try to max it out to get them extra defensive badges. Um... 
but I don't know it's up to you what you want to do if you want to get that 75 block and get those extra defensive badges because you, I think you only you only get 10 but I have my 65 65 do you know just keep it together so you but it's up to you what you want to do if you want to get those extra defensive edges lower your steel down a little bit and put your block up to max max your block out i don't know if that does, don't do that like if you want to make a tier finish i don't know what it does like what it actually does to your build like if it changes the build or whatever but i have mine 65 65 i might like if if you want to get a little more blocks i think you can you should you can put it up it's up to you like i said but this is how i have it um if you also want to get the more defensive edges you can do that too but it's up to you i know actually yeah you might be able to go like you might be able to max this out because i did see people with um a higher block than i had and had the same build or whatever so it's up to you what you want to do with that if you want to keep it like the same 65 65 then was not overpowered or whatever you can do so i'm gonna keep my 65 65 just because that's how i have my guys so i'm not gonna like you know show you oh my block is a 70 something now i have this couple badges blah 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 so 65 65 body shape is up to you i have my guy on burley the height make them 610 um your height your block does go up anyways you still does go down too anyways so that's why 610 i have a 610 you could you know keep them here don't make them 69 610 is a good height 611 is pushing it if that's 611, you're really not doing getting anything when you make it at 611. You can get it, okay, your rebound goes up one as offense, but the other th everything else, everything else just goes down. So, even 610, the only thing that happens is your driving leg goes down three, and your driving dunk goes down two, which is still going to, doesn't matter, because I'll show you, I think it's still, it's still like a 99 at the end of it. So, 610, bro, and then goes down, really, you're not going to be dribbling. Pass accuracy only goes down one, it's okay. Um, inside defense goes up two, outside defense goes down three. Your lot of quickness goes down three. Your steal goes down two, and then you're blocking up. So I have my guy six ten. So that's what I got. And then your weight, just put him to two forty five. You can do what you want with that too. You can want to lower him. You can lower him if you want to make him a little high, a little heavier, make him a little heavier. But I have him at two forty five. Acceleration goes down a little bit, but that's fine. His inside defense is um, up one. So I have him at 245. You can do what you want. You can, don't max him out. If you max him out, max him out. His speed's gonna be a lot slower, and he's gonna be like you're gonna still yeah you're gonna get them bodies whatever, but like it's gonna be harder for you to catch them lobs. So 245. So for your wingspan, just keep it 86.9. Doesn't really do anything. So keep your wingspan at 86.9. Nothing goes up. Nothing goes down. It's perfect in my opinion. So like you don't wanna keep it too high. And then your block, when your block goes up or whatever, you don't want it too low, so you block it and all that goes down. So just keep it where I had it, because you don't really need to do anything. You're still going to get the rebounds, you're going to still get the steals and everything. So keep it here. And then, obviously, choose your takeover. If you want to catch some bodies, choose your slash takeover. And boom, you have an interior finisher. So that's how you make this build. I'm gonna and I'm um, I'm gonna get back with you guys in a second. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you like my animations and everything in a second. So stay stay right here. Okay, guys. So this is what my um, guy looks like at 99. This is what you the build's gonna look like at 99. You're gonna have the 99 um, close shot, the 88 driving layup, which is perfectly fine because you're still gonna make a lot of layups. The 93 driving dunk, which I love. Um, with boost you know goes up obviously which is more over which is overpowered too if you got boost um standing dunk is a 99 i love that like i'll be dunking on people and then you know how you had that post hook that was low it's a 93 now so you're gonna be making those post hooks mid-range 42 37 three-pointer like that really shooting really doesn't matter your pass accuracy is a 77 ball handling is a 53 which is good like um the playmaking is good, even though you know you didn't touch it. And then your defense, your interior defense is 81. Your premium is a 67, which is pretty good since you're a center. Like you really didn't upgrade it. You did, but like you're not really focused on it or whatever. Your quickness is 61. Your steal 69, and then your block is 73. So it still went up. I mean, it could have been almost in the 80s or whatever, but still it went up. 
a lot, so he's still going to be getting a lot of blocks. And he rebounds with both AD each offensive and defense, which is good for a center because if you know how, if you use the badges I did in my recent video, you are going to be a snag guard if you know how to be, a, if you know how to box out, like if you know how to set yourself up with the rebounds. AD rebound is perfect. And then you also, if you, you get 72 speed, 66 acceleration, 99 strength, 81 vertical, 99 stamina. That's amazing. Plus, if you have gym rat, if you're, um, it's better because you're gonna have more speed, more acceleration, more strength, more vertical, and more, more stamina. Actually, I don't know about strength or stamina since you are 99 already, but you might. So that's overpowered right there. So let me guys show you guys my animations right now, and um, let's go. Okay, guys. So these are my animations. Jump shot, Steph Curry. Don't really know why it's Steph Curry, but I have it. I'm just gonna keep it so they don't shoot. Free throw, 54. It's up to you which you want to do free throws if you play right. Whatever. Oh, dribble pull up is big. Spin jumper is big. Hop jumper is big. Post fade is fade three. Post hooks is hooks three. Post hop shots is post hop shot six. Post shimmy fade is shimmy fade six. Post shimmy hooks is um shimmy hooks three. That's what I use for my shots and it works perfectly fine for me so it's up to you what you want to do with that if you want to copy them if you don't if you have your own if you have your own ones you can copy them it's up to you that but that's what i use Joe most i didn't touch is put my dribble style to slasher really don't know what that does but i have it on slashing so it's whatever so the juicy stuff the fun stuff the stuff you've been waiting for my layups and dunk. So for your layups, I have long athletic. I went between this layup package, went between different this the full big. I went I stayed on long athletic for a while. And let's just say I love it long athletic. I feel like it's the best one for a big man or any layer package, I think in my my I really so I like package I use in my two-way slashing play, but I use this on my slasher. And I love it. I will not change it for the world, so I love long athletic. But so for dunks, I have baseline reverse of one. So let me just show you. So I have my baseline reverse of one. So you know, hit those reverses because you know they clamp up the post or whatever. Or whatever they do, anything you can still hit those reverses, like you see in my video. I was doing in a stage video. Um, I love reverse dunks now. Long athletic, I have that just in case. You never know if you open, just boom, bang that down, make the rim shake. Now left a um, another tomahawk, but this one's a front tomahawk. One athletic front tomahawk, you know, if just for action. You know, like if you open instead of doing like a two-handed boring dunk or whatever, just you know, have a nice tomahawk. Have a cradle dunk. I really barely do this dunk. I, if I play wreck or whatever, and I'm gonna break or an easy dunk, I obviously do this, but I barely do it anymore. But it's still a good dunk to have on. And then I have Giannis's um dunk package on. He has some good dunks in there. I love them. That's why I have it on. And then I have Vince Carter. And they get those 360s. And um mostly 360s, it seems like. <laughs> but yeah, this Vince Carter dunk package is good. I love it. Um I think I just recently put this on a couple months ago. And I love it. And then for another dunk package, you got the Wilkins, and Wilkins is a nice. I like I like that dunk right there. That way, like that little fucking. Let me go back to it. That dunk right there. Every time I do a hot step, I always do that dunk. I say keep this dunk package. And if you do like a hop step, if you even have if you have a takeover at her, you're gonna do that dunk 95% of the time. And you're gonna dunk on them every time. I promise you that I do it all the time. I actually never did that with me, I don't think. On someone. I did that. But yeah, I did that too. Like some of these dunks like yeah, I did. Mostly dunk, like that dunk I did. I dunk on people with that dunk. I do that dunk a lot and dunk on people. Like some people just get mad at me because I just come out of nowhere and just windmill fucking reverse on them. So that's why I have this on for all these dunk packages. I feel like this is the best dunk package that I have. Like, okay, you don't want Vince Carter or whatever. You don't want Giannis. Okay, it's fine. You need to have this dunk package on at least. This dunk package is fire. And then for the contact dunk side, every contact dunk you can get, which is just the big man and then elite contact and pro contact. 
Alioops, I have the elite, all the elite package, um, elite pro packages on. So, um, they can, I can catch the lobs since I always catch the lobs a lot. I think that's it. We don't have that much park dunk, so yeah, I have like the this. I really, so I barely do that anymore. And then I have my lights off. I'll see park alley oops. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it, guys. That's it. Um, animations. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that sub button, turn on post notifications. Um, let me know which videos you guys want to see. If you guys want to see some challenges build videos face creations jump shot videos let me know in the comment section i'm gonna do everything for you guys anything you guys want obviously if it's some um, reason like if it's possible like i can actually do it it's not like jump out of a building and play 2k at the same time like something like that but um let me know in the comment section um all right, guys, so share this video, like it, subscribe, post on, turn on post notifications, and I'm going to be dropping bangers every other day. If you got, And we're going to, I'm going to, I'm aiming for 2K subs by the end of April. Actually, I'm aiming for higher than 2K subs. I promise you guys, I'm going to start streaming a lot more. I'm just, I feel like I'm just getting over a cold right now. So, like, I just really just been, like, doing what I need to do for these videos, just getting the videos out for you guys. And, um, I was editing them, taking my time with editing and thumbnails and stuff. And like things to improve my channel for you guys, then the videos can be better for you guys. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I know I said it before, hit that sub button, turn on post notifications, also hit that like button. I know I, didn't, I said it in the beginning, you should I get 10 likes in this video, guys? That would be amazing. And uh, my brother, I ain't on my brother, I ain't telling them nothing. It's funny how these bitches switch up and change like the